Hello, I'm Nathan Johanning with the University of Illinois Extension. I'm an Extension educator in commercial agriculture and we are here at the Belleville Research Center in Southern Illinois to talk about some of our pumpkin variety trials uh, from our recent pumpkin field day. So, our, uh, we're gonna start now. In this case, we're gonna talk about the trials here. This section of the trial, we are talking about the large jack-o'-lanterns. So most of these are the ones that are targeted at being uh, 25 pounds greater in as far as with their uh, their average size. So with these and with all the trials we've had here, they are all no-tilled after wheat harvest into wheat stubble. So today to start off with, we have Big Doris. So uh, Big Doris is uh, some of the notable characteristics. Certainly it has a nice large size to it. Uh, very, uh, you know, fairly consistent, although you do get some smaller fruit. Uh, I would say yields are pretty on par to average for these larger fruited varieties. Uh, and in this case, uh, the notable thing is it has a very large diameter uh, stem. Uh, so certainly it has a, a really nice shape and has that nice large stem to kind of set off that fruit. Also a little more uh, tends to be kind of taller in nature as its overall growth habit. Next, we have Cronus. So Cronus is another, uh, you know, larger fruited variety. Um, does have some smaller variety, but certainly we have lots of, of nice orange fruit. Uh, sizes vary. Some are a little bit more short to them. Those are more rounded in nature. The biggest distinguishment with Cronus is it has these very characteristic, long, fairly thick stems and handles to them. That is probably one of the, the most recognizable characteristics of Cronus. Those stems have a lot of character to them and certainly uh, certainly set off that fruit. Even if the fruit isn't as large a size, that very distinct large long handle really sets it off and, and gives it that, that really nice uh, j striking jack-o'-lantern look. Next, we have Hulk. So uh, Hulk is again one of the variety that's a little more taller in nature, uh, very firmly attached handle. Uh, the handle, I would say a, a moderate uh, handle length, uh, good color uh, and productivity, probably uh, average yields for us in our trial, uh, but uh, fairly, fairly productive, uh, a nice size and shape fruit. The next variety we have is Igor. Uh, Igor is a variety, this is the first time we've had a chance to look at it. Uh, I've, I like to look at it as a very tall jack-o'-lantern, so compared with some it has a very tall size. Um, as uh, I would say like an average uh, size uh, stem to it uh, with average length, but definitely if you're looking for a, a taller jack-o'-lantern variety to include in a mix, that, uh, that would be a good a good place for that variety. Next we have Large Marge. Large Marge has uh, a little bit smoother appearance so you see we don't have some of the ribbing especially like we just saw in Igor. Fairly smooth surface. Uh, I would compare the handle a little bit similar to, uh, to the Big Doris and that, uh, that nice uh, large, larger size stem and handle to it. Uh, good size and appearance, you know, more of that upright look to it. Uh, in this case, smoother and a little bit more pale. It doesn't have quite the same deep orange color as some of the other varieties, uh, but certainly I think a nice solid, uh, you know, average yielding uh, larger size fruit. Next, we have a new release. This one is PM0003. So uh, this is actually, a, I think, a really nice variety that I, I'm very, been very interested in. You know, the yields, I think, are, are really good for a larger fruited variety. We were getting, you know, on average, uh, one to probably one and a half fruit per plant, which for these larger varieties, uh, on average, that's a, that's a really good yield is in the end. Um, the shape and color was very consistent. I would say it has a nice, uh, a nice kind of moderate amount of ribbing, mainly in more of an upright nature, 
uh, but very uh, a very nice uh, nice looking jack-o-lantern uh, good consistent size and qualities and and I think it would be a, a, a really nice one a nice jack-o-lantern to have So next we have another uh, new release that has not uh, come out yet, and that is RPX 6883. So this variety is, uh, has a very consistent size and shape. Uh, however, the unique thing about this compared to some of the others we have seen is it does have some of these small bumps or warts on it. So uh, those warts do have some green coloration to them. They don't hold it forever but they do hold that that nice green color so it is probably one of the largest uh, pumpkin varieties that I've had experience with that has the warts on it and I would say it has a, a nice balance as far as you know reasonably consistent some like most of those some will have more wartiness than others however this one is, is fairly consistent with those uh, that the warting on it and uh, and certainly nice for having a uh, you know over a 20 plus pound pumpkin that has that uh, that unique characteristic. So certainly something you know I think good average yielder and some unique characteristics there in RPX 6883. Next we have XPU 6002. So this variety uh, again I think very uh, very good average yield. Fairly short stem, uh, so not a real long stem, but firmly attached. Uh, yeah, I would say average, uh, average size of these. So you know, we are probably in that uh, upper, t upper, uh, almost 20 to low 20s range for what we sound as, as far as weight on this variety. Then the last variety of our larger size jack-o'-lanterns is XPU 7704. So for us in this area, I think uh, this variety showed a, a lot of promise. Uh, its uh, yields, again, were, were really good. We were getting, you know, over on average one fruit per plant. So that anytime I can hit that or over, uh, I think that's a good variety. I think the size and, and color is fairly consistent. Um, we have an upright fruit. It is a little bit tapered to the top in nature, not, not quite as squared off as some in nature. Nice fruit, I think a really nice quality stem and handle to it. So uh, overall, another nice variety to look for uh, coming out in the future. So again, my name is Nathan Johanning with the University of Illinois Extension. I appreciate you watching today as we did an overview of our larger size jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, feel free to watch some of our other clips at highlight the rest of this variety trial but with any of this if you're interested in more information or have questions feel free to contact me at my email below and thank you for joining us today